Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some authentic charcoal chicken, just like you get from your favorite charcoal chicken shop. Now, there are a few steps to creating that true authentic charcoal chicken shop flavoring. So sit back, pour yourself a drink, and let's get into it. We want a bird that has that authentic charcoal chicken flavor, but is also super juicy. How do we do that? We start with a wet brine. So adding 500 ml of cold water into a medium sized pot, Add to that a third of a cup of kosher salt or cooking salt, not table salt, it's not the same thing. And that's our brine. Water and salt, that's all you need. From now on, everything we add is just for flavor. Add the zest of one lemon, the juice of two lemons, and throw the rinds in as well. Three cloves of garlic, we just need to smash them. That may seem aggressive, but it makes it easier to peel them and then you can just throw them in. Next up, add four tablespoons of brown sugar. This is gonna sweeten the mix up a little bit, but it's also gonna help caramelize the bird while it's cooking. Next up, 10 grams each of fresh rosemary and thyme. We wanna get this on the heat and get it to the boil as quickly as we can. And we're just gonna keep stirring it until we dissolve all that salt and that sugar. And just keep stirring it until all that sugar and salt has dissolved. Did you know Shuey's Barbecue has a Facebook page? Why don't you jump over, join the page. There's plenty of people on there just like you sharing their cooks and having a good time. Cheers. So our brine's just got to the boil, all the sugar and the salt has dissolved. Get it off the heat, and we want to cool it down nice and quickly. So we're going to add one and a half liters of cold water to that brine. Now that is still a little warm, so we just need it to fully chill down before we can put our chicken in it. Now that the brine is fully cooled, place the chook in a sealable container. Then add the wet brine over it. Making sure it's completely covered, seal it up, and put that in the fridge overnight. Yes, overnight. Preparation is the key for this charcoal chicken recipe. So make yourself a burger for tonight's dinner because you're not having chicken. Today, I'm gonna to be using my 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm also going to be attaching my rotisserie to cook this chook because Charcoal chicken should be spinning while it's cooking. So I'll fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal and light it up. Once it's fully ashed over, I'll grab my baskets, I'll place them together in the center of the, of the charcoal grate, and I'll dump that charcoal in. Then using a pair of tongs, I'm just gonna push the baskets to either side of that charcoal grate. I'll put the rotisserie ring on and place the lid on making sure all those vents are wide open. Our chicken's been brining overnight, so drain out the brine, pat it down with some paper towel. When cooking chicken, I like to tie them up, just keeping the wings and the legs in place. So just using some butcher's twine, I'm gonna start the string around where the neck would be, make sure I get the wings, and then underneath the breast here, is where I'm gonna tie my first knot, holding it all in place nice and tight. And I'll do a secondary knot just to make sure. Spin that around so you can see it. So we just loop the twine around the legs and bring them in and just tie a knot. And like under the breast, a secondary knot just to hold it all in place. Trim off the excess. When using the rotisserie, I like to put the chicken on the rod over a bowl. It just makes things a lot easier. And when you're using the seasoning, it helps with cleanup. So just place the chicken like that, put the other rod in. We wanna put the bird in the center of the rod so it's in the middle of our charcoal. And we can see that we've got these two grooves that show us how wide the rotisserie ring is. So we just need to move the bird over a little bit. And that's about right. And we can now tighten up both the thumb screws. How simple was that? nearly as simple as giving this video a thumbs up. It's now time to add some more authentic charcoal chicken flavoring. And the great people out at Atomic Chicken have released this charcoal chicken seasoning. Now, if you can't get a hold of this seasoning, I feel really bad for you, but you can still use your favorite chicken rub. But first, let's brush the chicken with some melted butter. And see how this bowl is already coming in handy? We're not creating a big mess. 
the bowl's catching everything. Perfect. Nice little tip. Next up, we're going to give it a good coating of the Atomic Chicken Charcoal Chicken Seasoning. We can now place the bird into the Weber. We turn the motor on, making sure the chicken is in between those two charcoal baskets. No, we're not going to watch it spin. We'll place the lid back on, keeping the lid bent to one side of the chicken so it cooks evenly. You can also put a foil tray in between those two charcoal baskets and that'll make your clean up a lot easier. Surely you've subscribed to the channel by now and hit that bell notification. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We are cooking with a high indirect heat today of around 240 degrees Celsius. Cooking a chicken this way can take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. It really depends on how big a chicken you have. Or for those of you out there who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. Cheers. It's always best to keep a check on the internal temp of the chicken with an instant read thermometer. With the chicken nearly at my target temp, I'm now going to put the charcoal directly under the chicken just to finish it off. The chicken has finally hit that 74 degrees Celsius so we can get it off the heat. Remove the rotisserie and we can let that rest for 15 minutes. Waiting 15 minutes for that to rest is going to be hard because it smells amazing. But you know what we can do in that time? You could share this video with a mate. And then they could cook this for you. You could sit back and have a few drinks. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. That skin is perfect. Nice colour. The smell coming off this reminds me of my local chicken shop. Cheers for watching. Thanks, everyone. Oh. Yum.